Why? Welcome to Loha on a Monday morning. <laughs> it's too it's early. 7 a.m. and the window's closed. See how much louder it gets when the window's open? This is our alarm clock this morning. Looks like it's time to get up. How weird is it out there this morning? Yeah. This is hilarious. There's probably 50 people next to the van and another 25 people out in front of the van. Everyone is getting after it this morning. Men, women, young, old. Definitely makes you want to get up and dance, but not the way I was intending to wake up. <laughs> it's a nice alarm clock though, because now we're up, we're at them, we got some bread ready to go into the oven, making a latte, got a couple errands to run, and then we got to hit the road. I really wanted to go out and dance with them, but I just felt like it would be really disrespectful, so I didn't. Yeah, I want to go. But did you hear the fight? No. Last night? Last night. What? Wow. Last night? Oh, last night the people out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They yeah, yeah, all I could understand was like, wow. me gusta, something, 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 and yeah, and then I heard a cop siren yeah, like we, shortly we were, afterwards. We, were, we just see everything. They were on this side? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we wow, couldn't see them. Oh, no. This has been a great spot to camp because it's totally free, but we're actually like in a downtown area right next to this huge stadium. It's kind of like a little centralized park area. So there was Zumba here this morning. I guess there was people fighting late last night. We've had cars and parties every night we've been here. It's been a, a nice way to experience the local culture, but I think today we're getting ready to pack up. It's raining a little bit. I think we're going to Peru today. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. This is uh, the most. This is a malfunctioning loaf. Oh no, I hit repeat. I hate this. That is definitely risen at least. There is something wrong with this puppy. How does it feel? It feels really soft. This feels really hard. Do you think it's done baking or do you want to put it back in? I don't in? know. Just to make sure the inside's done. Oh, the reason it's flat on top is because it's against the roof of the oven. Oh no. We're doing a couple errands this morning, trying to be as efficient as possible. Hello, friends. Good morning. Oh, All right, be good and play nice with the other kids. Okay, you guys, good luck. The editing girls. Yeah. <laughs> Ali's gonna hang out in Lucky Lou with Sada and they're gonna get some editing done and me and Luca are gonna head into town, see if they have the tires here in town that we need, possibly get an oil change, and just, just do guy stuff. We're gonna go do some, this is a guy's day. Like we're gonna be buying two Maxxis tires that are the same size as the hand cooked tires that I had before. Hopefully everything goes as planned. They can get the front left tire off without an issue and we can get this puppy. People always want to take pictures with us. They want to take pictures with our vehicle, especially the people that do work on it. It's really funny. Now let's run inside and get this thing paid for and get on the road. Thanks. Hello. What's up? How'd it go? It went good. Yeah? yeah. The tires? Tenemos llantas nuevas. Llantas. Moto vene. So I'm starving, but I think getting on the road is more important than food or? Oh, I'm starving. Yeah? Are you hungry? Yeah. Are you hungry? Let's eat. What are we going to eat? I don't know. Do you wanna, what do we have? We want eggs. We have okay. eggs. We okay. can make something really fast. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do that. All right. So this puppy is pretty ugly. <laughs> We're gonna see how it turned out on the inside though. Oh boy. This is always the moment of truth. Oh, beautiful. Nah, it's okay. I don't like it. You don't like it? This altitude stuff is some tough business. Tell you what. I'll still eat it, don't worry. I don't think these guys have ever tried sourdough, right? No. This is new right. to you. 
Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, like Lady and the Tramp. Oh. Beautiful. So sweet. Mmm. It's good. <laughs> it's like. Yeah. I it like did, it. It yeah. didn't turn out very good. I like it's it because uh, outside is crunchy, yeah. inside yeah. is really soft. Uh, I like, I like the good. taste. Uh, some hairs of. Uh, <laughs> there will be hairs of Frank. Woo! Chef Ali at it again. Mm. Breakfast is served. We are going to mm. scarf this down and then we're going to hit the road. We'll pick you guys back up once we're on the move. We only have like a five hour drive on dirt roads today. Nothing too major, I hope. We have two new tires. We didn't get an oil change, but we're halfway there. Vamanos. We're getting close to the border. We've got three hours and 44 minutes left to get to San Ignacio, which is just in the other side of the border. Uh, it's in Peru. The road is becoming less and less like a road and more like a off-road trail. If you can see, this is just a giant landslide of a mess with a dirt road packed through it. And it's raining. Oh my goodness. This is one of the main roads. This is the only road to this border. Wow, the roads are looking pretty gnarly. This road is really cool. We've just been traversing through these like crazy canyons, but um, the roads are pretty narrow. It keeps switching back and forth from dirt to paved road. And even on the paved sections, the roads are super narrow and chunks of the pavement have just fallen down thousands of feet below. Look at this. That just goes down to the abyss. Like that's just a section. That's just a section of road that has fallen away. It's really insane. <laughs> I cannot believe that this huge bus is driving on the same highway that we've been driving on. It makes me feel better about driving on the highway, but... Oh, beep beep, beep beep back. Beep beep back. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Stupid horn. Everyone around here uses their horn to like say thank you as they're passing or just like in general to say hello. And so we always try to beep beep back, but like our horn is not sensitive enough. So you have to like really push on it and then it ends up being too aggressive of, of a honk. honk. It's like honk, honk honk. People are like, oh no, but we're just trying to say thank you. I love this road. <laughs> <laughs> it's so freaking awesome. Like, uh, uh, you have to be paying attention all the time, yeah. Uh, yeah. but uh, at the same time, it's not boring. Yeah. Like it, it's an adventure. I, yes. Yeah. <laughs> hours and 14 minutes on the road. Woo! It has been a stressful drive, I will say that. I'm like super exhausted, not because I got woken up by Zumba, well, partially because I got woken up by Zumba, but just like the stress and pressure of this drive and it's like a very engaged drive. You're dodging potholes and going around dips and I just, I'm like tired. I'm like exhausted from it. It's very high consequence. And uh, it's, we have about 87 kilometers left. We've been doing this for a couple hundred kilometers and now the sun is setting. So I'm trying to get out of here as quickly as possible. It is getting even crazier. Okay, no problem. Yes? 
So we get stamped out and then we go back over there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're stuck here. Oh, okay. No one is here. <laughs> this is uh, immigration. First so one's in line, huh? Hola, buenas noches. Hola, buenas noches. ¿Cómo está? Hola. Gracias. ¿Tú tienes pasaporte? Sí. ¿Necesito celular? Ya. Yeah. Okay. Sí. Tú también, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Sí, no, pero no sabes sé. que algunas veces, algunas veces en la aduana te, te dan copia. No, no, dan no, le dan copia, no, 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 original. Siempre le entregan la original, la original. Pero ellos no hacen un poco. Siempre. So we're running into a problem here is that uh, at the Ecuadorian border they only gave us one temporary registration and we're trying to give it to these guys and they're trying to tell us that it's a copy and that we need to have the original. But we don't have any other pieces of paper. It is the original, it's just a black stamp and they're saying all their stamps are supposed to be in blue. So ours must be a copy because it's a black stamp. But we never made copies, it's the only paper we have. So. We're going to try to figure this out. Yeah, yeah, ya le mando, ya le mando la fotografía ahorita, ya. Ya mira cuánto lo que. I think everything's okay. I think they're going to let us pass. It's one of these things that could be an absolute nightmare because if they decided to send us back to Loja, where we came from today, we have to go through that crazy six hours of gnarly road that we just went through just to get back to have them give us a stamp, turn around and come all the way back here. So I think these guys are having mercy on us and they're gonna give us their stamp so that we can exit Ecuador. And then in about 30 yards, we cross into Peru. Listo? Listo. Listo. Vamos. Okay, that was stressful. Hopefully that's not foreshadowing of what's to come now as we enter Peru, but I think we're all done here, ready to exit Ecuador. Let's go. Okay. Oh, we made it to Peru. Can't halfway. They haven't let us Almost. in, but we made it. Hola, buenas noches. Okay. 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 Oh, we are here. Oh, Exactamente. Gracias, señores. Gracias. You're welcome. <laughs> Perfecto. <laughs> 28. Hola, hola. So you have two vehicles. I think we were going uh, good. You know, not too fast, not too slow. Yeah. Good. It was just scary because you can't really see what's below you yeah. and you know that it's like death for sure because the road the whole day has just been like death. I saw you when uh, you were turning right uh, that you couldn't see because the, the lights only point uh, in front. Uh, yeah. So you were like, uh, where am I going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's very intimidating, but we made it. Have you checked these papers? I just gotta check these papers and then I think we made it to Peru, baby. Okay, yeah, we're done. Welcome to Peru, guys. I hope you enjoy my beautiful country. Gracias. Gracias. Bye. We made it. Just gotta jump in this van, drive to a place to sleep, get some food. I'm literally about to pass out. Let's go. Well guys, welcome to Peru. I swore I would never do this again. And here we are, sleeping in a border town. Oh, it's okay. We're with people, it's safe, we're close next to them. Yeah. Just like... Brings it back. Brings back bad memories, yeah. If you guys are watching this and you haven't seen some of our older episodes, uh, when we crossed the border into Nicaragua, uh, we stayed in a border town because just like today we'd been driving all day, we were exhausted, it was dark, and there was an eye overlander spot, so we parked, and somebody tried to break into the van in the middle of the night, and it was pretty traumatizing to say the least. 
So now I've just got all those thoughts and feelings running through my head again, but I'll be on defense and, you know, hopefully I get some good sleep. I'm really exhausted, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully everything turns out all right. You did so good driving today. Mm, thanks, babe. Thank you for driving. Mm. We have uh, descended quite a bit, so it is hot and humid. Definitely uh, feeling that immediately. Super exhausted, but Hope you guys had fun coming along on this adventure with us today. Make sure you like this video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Welcome to Peru, we made it! Welcome to Peru. Woo. <laughs> Adios. Good night. See you guys on the next one. Sometimes what you want ain't what you need. Sometimes let